What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Draco's Journey to the Master Ball where I use rental teams or teams that I've created to reach the Master Ball tier. As always, I am Draco and that is robotic by now, <laughs> just so everybody knows. And it is time for Series 2. It's been a few days since we've had a Draco's Journey. Um, I wanted to end the Series 1 Draco's Journey with the Anger Point Camera Up team and that's what I did. Um, so that's actually fun fact for the Anger Point Camera Up team. It actually got featured on Poke Sports' YouTube channel. Kevin used it over on Poke Sports. I'll have a link below for that episode. If you guys want to see a super high level skilled player um, use the Camera Up team, definitely recommend checking out Poke Sports. And in all honesty, if you're watching my channel and you don't know who Poke Sports is, what are you doing? Go over there and watch Poke Sports. I'm telling you, they're amazing. Anyways, enough of that. Today is time for Series 2. If you guys are stoked for Series 2, do me a favor and drop a like on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, or drop a like on this episode. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And let's get started with today's episode. Today, we have an awesome team. Um, I can't take full responsibility for the team. It's not my original idea. It is um, a team I got that got inspired by... Pokies by, um, excuse me, sorry, not Pokies Points, by Moxie Boosted. I was watching Moxie Boosted's channel, uh, like a week or two ago, I don't even know, a while back, um, and he was talking about Thief Brute Bonnet, and I was like, that seems like so much fun, I have to do that, because the implications of that is you have booster energy on it, and then you get to steal another item, so you get an item, you get your booster energy boost, and then you get to steal an opponent's item. For me, I play Pokemon for fun, and that seems like fun. My dude is getting mad rain looking at him. He's like, yo, man, let me in. And the Pokemon says, like, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to um, Showdown, and we'll talk about the team. And then we will have um, a couple of practice battles. This is actually something we're going to call a test and tune episode for Draco's Journey. Meaning we're going to test out a new team that I came up with and we're going to see if we need to tune it out at, at, in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, I got the team is inspired by Moxie Boosted. It's not the team that he used. It, the only thing that really inspired me was um, the uh, Thief Group on it. But this is, Poke, this is um, Pokemon Showdown. And Pokemon Showdown, if, for those of you who do not know, Pokemon Showdown is a absolute awesome resource for team building. Um, team building in any way, shape, or form. Whether you want to play on Showdown ladder, or you just want to theorize team build so you can get your EVs and IVs and everything correct before you go and spend a couple of hours building a team on cartridge. So as you see here, here's the team we got. We're going to start with the beast, the star, the most funniest Pokemon I think I've seen in Gen 9. I really think this thing is hilarious looking. Its name is Brute Bonnet, and I did a full episode for Let's Talk on it um, for all the Paradox Pokemon, so we kind of talk about it. Um, this thing has Thief. Like I said, I wanted to use Thief. Seed Bomb, Sucker Punch, and Spore. And then I just... All these spreads pretty much are spreads that... Um, like basic spreads. Some of the spreads are spreads that I'm using from other rental teams. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of time to um, do a lot of calcs and stuff. I'm really trying to get onto a weekly uh, schedule where I upload every day. Um, and that's been kind of hard situating, getting situated because I do all of it. I do the editing, I do the filming, I do everything by myself, thumbnails, all of it. So it gets a little time consuming and I also have a family. But like I said, the first program we're going to talk about is Root Bonnet with Thief. That's the whole goal of the team for me personally is to get... Um, booster energy used and just steal an opponent's item, whatever it may be. I don't care if it's a berry, if it's an assault vest. It would be kind of bad if it's an assault vest because then we're just stuck using seed bomb and sucker punch. Um, but as far as the um, spread, it's just a 252-252 jolly spread to make them really, really fast. So that way, what will happen is the booster energy will um, get the uh, the speed going. Come on, there you go. <laughs> we'll get the speed to go first, so you'll be a really fast mushroom. You can get really fast spores off and really fast seed bombs off. 
Second Pokemon in the squad is going to be Goldango or Goldengo. I don't know, honestly, how to pronounce it. I can Google it. But it's a pretty standard Life Orb set. It's something that I've um, used a couple different times um, off camera and I've used in a few different teams. Um, so it's the spread is just something I had like on, uh, on Showdown. So all these spreads are pretty much just something I had on Showdown. Uh, next Pokemon is honestly probably going to be the best Pokemon I'm thinking right now, as of right now, in Series 2. I really like this Pokemon. I think it's, if you've looked at the tournament scenes lately, and not like the ones put on Pokemon because they haven't done Series 2 yet, that's coming really quick. By the way, I think June, f or not June, February 4th uh, is the first day of Series 2, I believe. I gotta double check that, but I think it's February 4th is the first day of Series 2. Um, and I think that's also a tournament. Uh, regional starts on that day if I remember hearing that correctly I'm not a hundred percent positive on that but anyways iron bundle has done amazingly well on a bunch of um, grassroots tournaments and smaller circuit tournaments and it's got moves like icy wind and freeze dry and it's not particularly like weak at all I mean you look at its EVs I went over all this with the Let's Talk episode. Definitely recommend checking that out if you want to learn more in depth about it. But a special attack of 124. And then we put 252 investment into it, giving it a 160, 176 um, special attack power. So moves like Hydro Pump, um, Icy Wind, and Freeze Dry, which is super effective against water Pokemon. So, and grass Pokemon because it's a nice move. So, with these moves, with this attack, and this speeds to that of 206. With a Focus Sash, I think um, Iron Bundle is going to be a pretty good staple. The other Paradox Pokemon on here is Great Tusk. Um, <clears throat> again, it's just a setup that I had um, been like researching and stuff. I actually got this one from Clover Bells. Um, I just needed another Pokemon, and I wanted something that was going to hit, and I was afraid of screens, and I was like, yo, Brick Break is a great idea. So, this one's really, really good. I have not used Great Tusk at all, but... I'm excited to use Great Dusk. Then there is a Rain Core, as you see right here, there's a Rain Core with Pelipper, with, um, oh, I didn't do Great Dusk moves. Great Dusk got Headron Lush, Earthquake, Ice Spinner, and Brick Break. I only talk about Brick Break. Um, but I wanted something to deal with screens, because I have a feeling that Grim Snarl is coming back, and he's gonna be doing a lot of screens, because I feel like that's what generally happens um, as the power output of the Pokemon increases you need a way to decrease that and the best way is with prankster screens if you really think about it i mean you set up light screen you set up reflect and you're good to go so i figure something to deal with that is right there with brick break and then like i said there's a rain core with the um, pelipper and the palafin i think palafin i agree with pretty much what everybody's saying about palafin he's probably the most the best rain user um but as far as Pelipper, Pelipper is just our Tailwind user. It's got a Wide Guard. It's got Wide Guard, so we get to um, take care of spread moves in case we get, you know, we're facing other Goldingos and stuff like that. Uh, Roost and Hurricane, and holding a Damp Rock. Um, this is just one, another one. All these spreads, like I said, all these spreads are just ones that I've had in the back um, that I've used prior to this, so not really too much to go over with them. Um, and then. I went with Palafin because honestly I have not really used Palafin at all. I used it for my playthrough. I've spent three days catching a shiny one and I used it and to great success. He's great in game so I'm really excited to see what he does um, in series two. In series one he did a lot of work. It was really a lot of, I've seen a lot of people using it and he did a lot of work so I'm really excited to use it. I just went with a standard 252-252 Adamant set. Um, with flip turn, jet punch, wave crash, and holding a mystic water to make sure those three water moves do incredible damage. And then, honestly, with the rain, you're going to do insane amount of damage. But I got greedy and I went with a water Terra on this one. This is one of the things we need to test for sure. A lot of a lot of times you're seeing Palafin with Grass Terra, but I went with Water Terra because I just want to see jet punch in the rain with the mystic water with an adamant 252 attack stat behind it. I just want to see it do insane amount of damage. So this is the team in a nutshell, um, I have what I have right now. It, I don't really foresee it changing too much. The only thing I could see changing is the Terra type here for defensive grass. Um, but this is the team. I will have a full rental team and a paste of this team down, rental code and a paste for this team down below. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are just going to 
Hey, it's not raining. We're gonna jump into some casual battles because the rank is not available yet. And I think casual is a good spot to test. So I will see you guys in the battles. We'll probably have about two of them, so. Okay guys, we are to fight, we are facing a divine being right now. I am kinda nervous, not gonna lie. You never know with these divine beings, what branch they can be from. You never know. It could be fey, it could be spiritual, it could be anything. But they do not have what we would call a Series 2 team. They do have a Claude, uh, Claude Sire or whatever that is. Okay, what do we want to do? I think we're going to lead group on it because we can. Um, yeah, that brute, that, hmm, they can have something to, hmm. Hmm. Maybe we go Pelipper for Tailwind. We can have... I just don't really want to bleed Hero here. I think we're going to leave our Rain at home. Go Iron Bundle. Go Dango. And Great Tusk. Just because... The Claude Sire, or Clog Sir, or whatever it's called, that, that new Gen 9 brown turd looking thing. Has a water absorb or water. Your water moves don't work. I don't think it's the re. Is it if it's the redirect one? I'm not for sure. Let's find out. Okay, so they lead Palafin. We ain't even bringing the rain, baby. We ain't even bringing the rain. You can lead Palafin all you want. You think we were gonna bring the rain? Not happening. Not happening. All right, so Claude Sire does have the move Water Absorb. Absorbs water, moves healing for one fourth max HD HP. So it has to hit. We have to hit them with a the water move. So I guess we could have um, we could have brought out the. Um, We could have brought out Palafin. We'll freeze dry on their Palafin in case they don't, um, in case they don't do anything with it. That they they might outspeed here. I'm not for sure. Um, but they are thinking about it, which is good for them. Definitely take your time. Think about it. They're really thinking about it. Or we're about to disconnect. Okay, we get the freeze dry off. Just eliminates their polyphon. Let's go. Iron Bundle's like, nope. No superhero for you today. And the spore comes through on to their Sylveon. Great turn for us. Excellent turn. We gave them nothing. They had they had nothing. Nothing from that turn. No damage. No nothing. They went to sleep and got knocked out. Okay. So we could steal their throat spray, but it really, I don't think it does anything but stop them from getting a boost. We could do that. I love that little Santa bird thingy. I, you know, I'm uh, Deli Bird. I'm a fan of it. I think it's a cool Pokemon. I think it's designed really, really well, and I think it's a really good Pokemon. Um, I really do. I'm gonna steal whatever the Hydronigan has, and I think we'll just try for an icy wind to slow it down, to see if we can get Brute Bonnet to be first, to move first. Still learning the team. That's the whole point of this. So some of these moves may not be optimal, but they're to find out what works. And this is where you would be flowcharting and stuff, just so, you know what I mean? You would write down, this interaction happened, and that happened. So they do withdraw their Sylveon, which is pretty good, because I think they did get their first turn of sleep out of the way, which brings out a chance to wake. We Icy Wind. Both of these guys don't want to get hit by Icy Wind. Yeah. Wow. Look at that damage. <laughs> this is supposed to be a Brute Bonnet episode, not a... So there's the Thief. What do they got? Choice specs. 
with the damage deduction, the burn kind of is unfortunate, but with the damage deduction, we were able to live that. And that is what we wanted to do there. That's perfect. Okay. I mean... I think Sucker Punch Icy Win. We could, we could have Seed Bombed, but we're burnt. We're not going to do any damage. Maybe we should have Seed Bombed because it may have done a little more damage because Sucker Punch is super low damage. And they could protect to stop that. But if Fruit Bonnet goes down, I'm okay with it. Uh, it I mean, it kind of did what it needed to do. It didn't do much. It did steal a Choice Specs. But we're Choice Specking into the Sucker Punch. So... That's a funny interaction if you really think about it, because Choice Specs is going to increase our damage, but Burn halves our damage. So they Sucker Punch first. We live that Sucker Punch. Let's go. We Sucker Punch next, but it failed because they Sucker Punched because they were faster. Good for them. Great play. We get an Icy Wind off. Somebody did avoid, unfortunately. It was the Hydronigan. That's not great. But we do have a Focus Sash on our bundle, so if they do attack the bundle, we will live the next attack. They do Fire Blast into the bundle. And it doesn't even take us to focus sash. Brute Bonnet's hurt by burn. I could really use Brute Bonnet going down now. Cause they well they just have two Pokemon left, one asleep and one really low health Hydronigan. Both our Pokemon are really low health, but we got some bangers in the back. We do have the um, Great Tusk, which is fighting, which is weak against the um fairy type that they have which are taking forever to switch in i have no idea why they are i think they're just kind of trolling at this point um but we can tear ground to get rid of that weakness so whenever they decide do, 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 whenever you decide to click a button do they have k like is it just communicating that long for some reason my internet is just slacking <laughs> Maybe it was my internet just slacking. I don't know. Anyways, they got a full health silly on. Um, we're only allowed to sucker punch. Oh, we're only allowed to. I, I didn't mean to do that. Sucker punch. And hmm. Let's see, we got some speed here in our Great Tusk at 108. So I'm, I'm almost positive we outspeed the Cillian, but we're going to Icy Wind just in case. Sucker Punch. It didn't kill, it did nothing because of the, the um, burn. But we did use Icy Wind to take out the Hydronigan. We're looking pretty. We're looking pretty. Brute Bonnet is finally goes down. So the slow burn finally takes us out. And honestly, we just bring Gold Dango in and we hit Mega Rain all day long. <clears throat> I mean, we'll steal Terra. We'll make it rain. I will hit Icy Wind one more time just to guarantee speed control. We'll prosper. Alright. With the Make It Rain single target? I don't think so. Icy Wind. Okay, so Sylveon Speed goes down again, but we make it rain. And that's the end of Sylveon. GG's. Good battle. <laughs> Iron Bundle was like no joke though. I don't even think Iron Bundle took any damage in that battle at all. Did we? Oh yeah, we got hit with a Fire Blast, but it didn't do anything. It didn't even take us down. I mean, it did enough. It did a ton of damage, but it didn't take us on Sash. We just lived naturally with it. So, but yeah, that was a good battle.
Uh, Iron Bundle's a great support with that Icy Wind and Freeze Dry. It took out a Pokemon? Wow. This is supposed to be a Brute Bonnet episode. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into another battle. Alright. Another test battle coming our way. They got a banger of a team. They got a freaking Greninja, bro. Like, that's awesome. It's not legal in VGC yet, but it is on casual, and I'm cool with it. Problem is, is our Palafin does Jack, but we do need, I think we need Tailwind. Because they have the Slug, so like, all our water moves do nothing. I think if we really Pelipper... What if we leave Pelipper Brute Bonnet? Because Brute Bonnet does pretty good work here. Um, I think we definitely bring Goldango. Who's our last, though? That's tricky. Iron Bundle is like, okay, it's really good. Let's bring it. Great Tusk is ground. Gets wrecked by a bunch of those things. Let's bring Iron Bundle. Because it has the ice move. Iron Bundle, actually looking at that team again. Greninja, Iron Bundle takes out with the freeze dry because it's water. <laughs> the cat, Meowskarata, same thing. It's grass. Freeze dry does mad damage. And then so does it against Garchomp because it's an ice move. But they do... That was a good play. I think we, um... Because they're going to tail it. So we could wide guard to try and block a, um... What's it called? An EQ. But then again, it shouldn't do too much damage to us. Like we could tailwind here. And... I'm gonna try and spore their Pelipper, because if this works. <laughs> Stealth Rock. That sucks, they got Stealth Rock off. If this works, we could get their um, Pelipper to sleep before the hurricane. They are naturally faster than us. I did not know Pelipper was slower than Group on it. Okay, that's a good thing to know. I'm gonna need a new notebook soon. Okay, so they are asleep. Oh, I just gotta write this down. I just want to write that down so I remember just to check on. I gotta gotta make sure that that's something we want to leave, or maybe it's not something we want to want to leave. Um, <clears throat> so I just went Hurricane Spore. Put some damage out there. Okay, so Meowskarata. Okay, good for them. Okay, we get the Spore off there. Man, we should have Hurricane. I totally thought about Hurricane being that particular spot. Um, but I didn't. Alright. Okay. So let's go Hurricane. It could have a Focus Sash, but, I mean, we're going to double up onto it. And uh, in case they Sucker Punch our Pokemon, they U-turn. Okay, so Brute Bonnet goes down. That's a really good U-turn, actually. Okay. And that's under Tailwind, too. Wow. That must be Choice Scarfed. It must be. Full Investment Choice Scarfed. I don't know. Maybe that. That's got to be, right? Like, that was a good way to take out Brute Bonnet. But I'm not for sure if Brute Bonnet was 100% your uh, 
like your thing, your go, you know what I mean? The thing you want to do. Because I'm going to bring in, pal, an iron bundle here. I want to start freeze drying everything. Greninja. We hurricane into Greninja. Greninja live, lives. They do wake up. They dragon claw. Okay. Okay. That sucks our stash is broken. I think is it our roost chance? I feel like we can pick up a double. I really do. We might want to think about that. One last turn of Tailwind. Oh, I did it wrong. That's a multi-move. I did that wrong. I, just, I didn't mean to switch. Just live, Iron Bundle. I think we live. Yeah, we live. Okay. We freeze dry. Did we not get a tailwind up? No, we do. We just checked. Wow, they're super fast. And we roost. <clears throat> this just affords us a tailwind later on in the game. But we could have picked up a double KO. I mean, hey, we'll take that. <laughs> tailwind Peter's out. And now they send in their male Scarada. We could Hurricane Protect. We could. Let's do it. Because in case they try for Sucker Punch. Unless they sucker punch into the, uh... Grass type. Unless they sucker punch into the iron bundle. Or into the Pelipper, I should say. And then double up into it to try and take it out. But we protect here. They flower trick. Ooh. Good flower trick. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. I don't think we can win this one. I don't even know how we lost it, to be honest with you. Icy wind, terrestrialize in the steel, throw everything in and see what sticks. Make it rain. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gold Dangle's no joke, you know, but it's definitely something we gotta hopefully yeah, they're just faster. Who they go into? Iron bundle? Yep, great play. Great play. And the EQ. We live. Okay. It. Oh my gosh. We're not out of this completely yet. Their last Pokemon sleeping. Okay. We should have nasty plotted. I mean, we couldn't have got away with a nasty plot, but. We lost some HP. Right? Ah, uh, we're Life Orb. <laughs> we don't... We don't win. I don't think we win. Because their Pelipper's full health. Hmm. I just went Nasty Plot. Um, just to get some attack back. 
we lose, if we don't KO this turn, not very effective. What's more, what does more damage? Because we, we die this turn no matter what. I think it might be make it rain. It's single target, double stab, plus one. They are fast asleep, but we lose to Life Orb here. Unless we can knock out. Oh, man! Oh, Focus Sash beats us because of Life Orb damage. Look at that. Look at that, hey. We took it to the wire and beyond. Great battle, GG's. What are you gonna do, right? I mean, we just needed that little itty bit more health, you know, and we would have been okay. Um, they had to, they would have had to stay in sleep the last turn, but that was, I think, their third turn of sleep, so they probably would have woke up. The focus sash saved them. GG's to them for having that focus sash on Pelipper. I mean, I. Don't even know the last time I've seen Focus Sash on Pelipper because Pelipper is pretty tanky. Anyways, I think we're going to try and squeeze one more battle in. Um, maybe. Let's see. I just fought this guy. I don't like doing that. Anyways, I'm going to try it again. <clears throat> um... Well, we could try that. Hmm. I did just face this person. So if, I, if not this person, then exactly the same team in the exact same order and everything. Generally, I don't like, generally I just restart my system with this. Yeah, same trainer card and everything. Yeah, we might just quit this battle. Because I don't, I don't want to play the same person again. I don't, this isn't best of three. They led this way last time. Okay. We'll wide guard in it. Uh, make it rain. Wide guard, make it rain. I led Pelipper Iron Bundle last time. I battled this person. I lost. But they blizzard. They double blizzard last time. So, hopefully this spread. Or this, I don't know. The Tarrasal is Ising. It's probably a bomb of snow. Yeah. Gets rid of their make it rain weakness. Water. Okay. Okay. They protect. Good protect. Okay, we wide guard. And we make it rain. Still could do a lot of damage here. It is spread damage, but now that they're not weak to it, it did absolutely nothing. Okay, what are they gonna do? They are power and they go bango. They place they're really well they're really good at this game. <laughs> um Tailwind Protect. Yeah. They didn't do what they did last time, which is good. You don't want to do what you did last time, even though it worked. 
There's a hydro pump into the protect. Okay, and we get a tailwind off. And they blizzard. Okay. We live the blizzard. Okay, we switch here. And who are we switching into? Um, that's a waste of a focus sash. Let's just shadow ball that spot. Okay. Shadow ball. This is some good damage. We should have protected Tailwind at first turn. They do Icy Wind. Okay. Our speed falls, unfortunately. And they earth power indigo dango. That's fine. <clears throat> that is fine. Let's get our iron bundle in with the focus sash for free. We'll switch into Pelipper here to turn the snow off. And we will freeze dry that spot. Now we have Tailwind. They don't, so we're faster. It could hit an icy wind, but we're still fast. Hopefully, you get a freeze dry off and take out that guy. They do have freeze dry, probably too. They've had move for move what we've had. I don't see why you don't run freeze dry on your iron bundle. Okay, Drizzle comes in. You get a freeze dry off. Takes out their guy. Okay. And they hydro pump. That was so much damage. That was crazy. That was so much damage. The iron bundle. In the rain and everything. Wow. It took us down to 23 HP. We started with 131 of them HPs. Alright. So there's that thing. Um. I think I'm gonna roost. And Hydro Pump you. Oh, they protected. Oh, I, you know, I was like, they're going to protect. They're going to protect. <laughs> All right, Hydro Pump comes through. Okay. Oh, we avoid Pelipper. Avoiding that Hydro Pump is big time. We get a Roost off. Okay. Tailwind Peter's out. Let's go Tailwind again. And protect. Tailwind and protect. Of course, they could icy wind. That roost was so good for us. It puts us back in this game. It really does. Okay, they withdraw. We're just pat. We're just being passive right now. Um, Fluttermane comes in. Okay, we protect here. Okay, and they do Blizzard. They just went for Raw Blizzard. Good for them. And we avoid Pelipper avoids again. We do set Tailwind. Okay, now.
We go Hurricane. No. <laughs> Hurricane. And. Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. Okay. Blizzard. Iron Bundle avoided. Pelipper lives. Man, we are getting good avoids right here. Hurricane comes through. Okay. They do faint. Okay. All right. Do we have Tailwind up? We sure do. Um... Roost Hydro Pump. Big time damage there. Hydro Pump, that's fine. Uh, you can you have Iron Bundle right now, that's fine. It's fine. We get our Roost off first. Bringing us back to a lot of health. They struggle bug. Special attack falls. That sucker. That kind of sucks. Our special attack fell there. Um. Okay. So now we have our hero form out. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, we will go to you, Tarassel's eyes. Jet punch. They could protect that spot, but that's fine. <clears throat> as long as we take out their iron bundle. I think we'll be okay. Is there fire? And we have rain with another turn of tailwind after this, right? Versus our last turn. I think our yeah, this might be our last turn. Okay. They do protect. Okay, they protected the wrong spot. Let's go. Unless they double protect, which would be pretty smart. They do double protect. That's really smart. Okay. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do. Is see what we got going on here. Tailwind does in fact peer out. Okay. Um, we could tailwind again and protect just to get it up. That's what we did. We should have checked rain and we didn't. We need to slow down slightly. This end. I, mean, I do this all the time in the end games. I get ahead of myself, and I don't think, as you can tell, our opponent is thinking through and we're really not. So they went for a double protect. We get our protect off. Which tells us speed tiers here. They hydro pump into our protect. Okay. And we get our tailwind up. Perfect. Okay. So now we just go for the same play of hurricane and jet punch. In the rain, double stab with a mystic water. Okay, let's see. They went for double protect there. They could go for a triple. We go for jet punch here. This is in the rain. I just didn't want to take any damage. We get the one hit KO. Perfect. And then, uh, as long as we don't miss this hydro pump coming through, this should be victory. Oh, they go first. We eat that. Even in the rain, we eat that. We get our hurricane off. And Pelipper, who stuck around from the beginning of the game, wins the game for us. GG's to my opponent. Well fought. So we lost to them last time. The last time I... Because I, I battled this guy twice. Um, you guys only see this battle because, honestly, the last battle was really long. And there's no time for it in the episode. I'd love to show you both. But trust me, I lost. <laughs> I didn't lead the way I led. And I lost. But we did end up beating them. So just it just goes to show that you can lose to a player. And as long as you learn from them. Like, I learned that they had Blizzard on both of those guys. I didn't know they were Water Terra. So that's why I led out with the Pelipper for White Guard options. And we went for White Guard first turn to cover for it. And it didn't obviously didn't do anything. Um, but us having the Freeze Dry and then um, the Hero Palafin in the end was able to win it for us. Because they... 
actually led, they actually had all four Pokemon <clears throat> that they used in the beginning. They played slightly different um, in the first battle. That's Those are the four Pokemon they used. I made complete diff I made completely different Pokemon. I brought Goldango, and they wrecked me with their fire Pokemon. Um, yeah, I brought, Pel it was Pelipper. The first time, first time around, it was Pelipper Iron Bundle, um, Goldango, and I think... Was it Palkin? And Palkin just got knocked early. I don't remember. Anyways, GG my opponents. This is the third final battle of the episode. Um, so let's talk about the team real quick. Alright, so I actually haven't had this team as a rental team yet. So let's make it a rental team. I'm, I'm good with it. Like, I've got other teams I want to work on. And with how busy I've been lately. It's becoming incredibly hard to just play the game. And uh, it makes me sad. Oops, I didn't want to check the deets. I didn't want to check your deets. I wanted to share. Here you guys go. Here it is. Maybe not. Why did that do that? Come on now. Let's not be silly. Let's uh, try this again. Here we go. Yay! Alright, now we check the details. Here you go, guys. Rental code is right here. Right up there. Way over there on the top. As you can see, it's a team made by me. Um, I made the team originally just because I wanted to use Thief Brew Bonnet. And uh, out of all the testing today, I used it one time. You know, it's going to stay the way it is. The team's not changing. Um, you could run... Grass Terra on Palafin, but like I said in the beginning of the episode when we talked about the team, I was like, nah, <laughs> I just want full on as much damage as this little hero dolphin can do with a plethora of water moves and protect, and that's what it does. But we went over a full breakdown of the team in the beginning of the episode, so no need to do that. Rest of the team's got Gold Dangle, Pelper, Iron Bundle, and Great Tusk. Rental code is up top. The, uh... Pokepaste will be down below if you guys did enjoy this episode at any time. Do me a favor, show some support for the channel, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, I'll be able to take you to the YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, stay positive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.